What's up, y'all? Hey, it's Jordan, aka Mixed by JE, aka JE, aka the Sauce Man, aka the Magician, aka all kinds of other names. Wanted to make a quick video explaining on how you can properly prepare and send over your Pro Tool session if you're gonna be getting it mixed. So I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's go ahead and jump into the meat of the video. Let's get it. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm gonna try to condense this thing down into a short video. Try to give you the content, get your get your content, get your value, get your education, and get on out of here. Cause I don't know about you, but I hate sitting there watching 10 minute long videos where I could just watch two minutes of it and get everything that I needed. So let's go ahead and dive into it. As you can see here, it's a pretty basic Pro Tools session. A shout out to Respect and Salute. We're gonna be using their one at all session. As you can see, it's a two track, uh, vocals to two track style of session. So we got the beat up here. Looks like we got a looks like it was just a halftime beat at the end uh, so it looks like it was recorded here at speak life studio which is where we are filming this video right now so let's go ahead and dive into it one of the first things that i see over here is everything's labeled properly please please don't ever send a mix engineer a session that has audio one audio two don't do that please don't do that if you do that me personally i'm gonna send it back to you don't really have time for all that it's gonna speed up the process too if you if you just get your files labeled and send it over to your mix engineer it's gonna shave you know 15 20 minutes off of their off of their schedule to where they can actually be mixing instead of going through and worrying about something you should have done on your end uh so as you can see another thing too I like doing is color coding things. I personally like my hooks being purple. I mean, this is totally preference. This, this is how you change that color if you didn't know. You can also change the whole bar there if you click that. It helps me organize things a little bit better. Another thing too here, it looks like there's a few different effects that we have in some of these parts. Looks like maybe some echo, some flange. You know, if you want to keep that stuff on there, if that's something that you kind of created on your own and you want the mix engineer to kind of keep it, that's going to be totally okay if you want to leave that in there just so they have kind of an idea of the direction you're wanting to go so at this point once you got everything labeled if you want to color code things go ahead and do that too you would just go to save copy in file save copy in you want to make sure to select audio files and session plugins folder uh, plugin settings folder and then at this point you just want to save it to a place to where you know you can find it pretty easy at this you know I'm just gonna save it in their folder this one and all folder once that is complete, you want to pull up wetransfer.com. You want to find that file. You want to compress that entire file. That way it's going to include every, whenever the, the settings that we selected in Pro Tools, it's going to make sure that it embeds everything that the engineer needs. It's none of the, your audio files are going to go missing at that point. Uh, so once you can press the entire folder, once that's done, you're going to, if you're on Windows, you would just zip the folder. Uh, you just want to drag that bad boy into We Transfer. You want to shoot it over to your mix engineer's email, mix by JE. Let me spell that right. If you want to add any notes. At that point, transfer so that's as simple as it is so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense hopefully that kind of helps you as you continue to send off some files to get them mixed until next time this is jordan aka mixed by je and i'm out of here